All right, so just left the uh, Nike store and I ended up going with the retro ones. And let's see what we got here. That's them right there. You know I don't do laces by now. These do not have laces. Plush, plush leather. Never thought I would actually ever buy any of these shoes because of the requirements I have for quality. Um, just far away, it exceeds the um, what Nike is allowing itself to produce. But um, I just did that Clark's video with soft, supple leather, and it looks like. Nike was watching that video <laughs> because um, this is soft and supple leather. You know, I don't like the Nike checks. They got almost the equivalent of no Nike check. Drilled holes into the leather. Almost as if they were listening to my video about the uh, Adidas. Um, Alexander Wang edition where they drilled holes into the leather suede to create the Adidas symbol, which you can see in a previous video. Just scroll down and look for that Adidas Alexander Wayne skater uh, shoe that I picked up. Okay, so I don't have to remove the Nike like I did on the Air Force Ones that I just did a video on. Um, so we got the Clarks, Alexander Wangs. Um, <laughs> it's like Nike was watching my videos and made this. Of course, I always say I don't do laces, so I don't have to do the laces on this one. Um, very soft, supple leather. They didn't lose their mind, though, and they did not allow you to see the leather on both sides. Obviously, they blocked it with the um, with this liner. Unlike the Clarks that I reviewed that had no hiding of the leather, you can see the outside and the inside. If you want to check out that video, just scroll down. It's in there. Um, just high quality leather though. Very soft, supple leather. Definitely got me on this one. I like the egg yellow, off-white here to give you the aged look for the retro. Really like the red bottom on the shoe. I think that's pretty cool. So got a pretty cool red bottom on the shoe. I do not like the uh, shoe insert. I'll be replacing this shoe insert probably with the... Uh, a leather one, probably brown leather. With the feel that this shoe is giving me, I'm going to go with a really high-end shoe insert with this with this shoe. Um, I got one in mind already for my uh, Aqua Nautics, I think, Aqua Nautics shoe. Either way. Um, yeah, they didn't blast the shoe with a bunch of uh, advertising. They've got this subtle Air Jordan advertisement here. Very subtle, very discreet, very soft leather. I can't say that enough. Um, I went into the finish line store and I felt a bunch of different Jordan 1s in there. They probably got about 12 on the wall. And after filling those, uh, what they love to call uh, tumbled leather, which is not tumbled leather, it's just very bizarre look alike for tumbled leather um they're hard as a brick um that, which is defeats the purpose of even calling it tumbled leather but uh either way this I, ha I had to go once i went into the finish line and felt all of those uh jordan one retros i went back into the nike store and purchased this shoe because i felt this shoe and the this type of uh, tumbled leather is a completely different league than the Jordans that I'm used to seeing on the shelves uh, and the Jordan that I saw in the uh, finish line two seconds ago, uh, right before I went back in and bought this shoe. So uh, yeah, this is definitely extremely soft, supple leather. 
and uh, definitely got my money on that one. I can't really complain on what Nike did with this shoe. Just uh, definitely going to give this insole some quality. It lacks quality, but uh, I'm going to put a real nice, thick, plush, hard uh, insole in there. And that should finish my look for this shoe. Hope you enjoyed. This is my very first Nike Air Jordan 1 Retro. All of my requirements were met. I felt like Jordan came to me with this shoe as opposed to me going to Jordan. Wow, I mean, everything I was complaining about buying Jordans for, this shoe does not do. So, uh, you win. They got my money on this one, and I got a great deal because it was in the, uh, not the outlet store, but the factory store. I think they call that a factory store, not the outlet store. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This is Watch and Shoes. The watch is the Invicta with the meteorite face from Africa. Meteorite landed in Africa. It has a day date. And it's a carbon watch. Carbon fiber sheets used to make this watch. Very durable. It also has a chrono feature. Screw down crown as well. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed another episode of Watching Shoes. See you on the next one.